Actor Noelle Clark accused of groping, harassment and bullying by 20 women. Michaela Cowell released a statement on Noelle Clark's sexual harassment allegation. Sky suspends filming on Bulletproof following Noelle Clark allegations of misconduct. Ashley Waters releases a statement admits Noelle Clark allegation. Old video resurfaces of Noelle Clark and people are calling out John Barrowman for his inappropriate behaviour. Noelle Clark seeking professional help after sexual harassment allegation. Noelle Clark suspends from his own production company Unstoppable Film and Television. Vision. Losky film not being released today due to being executive produced by Noel Clark. Noel Clark and Adam Deacon has been trending as allegations of sexual harassment comes to light. Noel Clark encouraged students to remove clothes at drama school as six more people come forward with allegations. Big up Welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. As you guys can already see, we're going to be talking about Noelle Clark with all of the allegations. I'm pretty sure that you are aware of the story already, but if you are not aware of the stories, then I will fill you guys in. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and thank you so much. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. The police have confirmed that they have received a third party report relating to the allegations of sexual offences by a man following recent claims against actor Noel Clark. The Met Police said they had received a report on the 21st of April and officers were assessing the information but there was no investigation. It comes after 20 women accused Noel of sexual harassment and bullying. He obviously has denied any sexual misconduct or criminal wrongdoing. The Met Police said in a statement, a third report is anonymous so the allegations cannot be investigated by the police. However, it can be used as intelligence, for example, to see if it matches with any other reports against the same person. The BBC does not know who made the report to the police. Noel Clark is sorry, but he does deny sexual misconduct. ITV has dropped him, the BAFTA suspends him, and many people are speaking against him, including his peers and those also in the industry, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. He said, recent reports, however, have made it clear to me that some of my actions have affected people in ways I did not intend or realise. To those individuals, I am deeply sorry. I will be seeking professional help to, to help educate myself and change for the better. ITV decided not to broadcast the Friday's final episode of a police drama viewpoint in which he stars in. Sky also halted its work with Noel. I just want to know what kind of help you'll be taking. Like, why would you be taking help if you're innocent or if you haven't done anything wrong? And what kind of help? Like you're talking about to educate yourself and change for the better. Like, that statement alone doesn't sound right that's not good this is an ongoing case more i believe is going to come from this investigations are going through did he do it did he not do it i think it's shocking because i feel like it's from somebody that i suppose you would have never really expected and within the black culture or the black community somebody that we would have supported 20 women coming forward at the same time is wild it's it's crazy and him saying what he said makes him sound and seem guilty. What's interesting though is how quick people are. And when I talk about people, I mean, you know, people like Ashley and people that are his peers and in the industry, quick to release their statement and stand with those women. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that, I suppose. I feel like with cancel culture and with previous cases that we've seen, maybe people have kind of learned from that and have decided to take stance as ASAP as soon as possible. Or maybe they know something that we don't know from his behaviour on set, from his uh, conduct, uh, from what they have maybe heard or experienced i mean at this point he's he's looking pretty guilty but i'm very cautious of condemning people and judging them as guilty without proving them to be guilty like i still believe in this whole innocent until proven guilty i feel like we need more from this story like i need to read more and 
and understand it more and my me wanting to read it more or understand it more does not mean that I don't believe the women by the way there's so many of these allegations that just come out and I'm just like how do we prevent this like how does this happen like how can we protect women more like are women even protected in these industries because there is this happens so much and I believe that I really do I believe that and I just feel like what can we do to stop this I mean the rate that this is going I feel like this man's career is just about to get buried and just shut down like like that to be honest I'm still trying to process everything um I understand this is something that is trending and everybody's talking about. I know some of you guys are expecting that video to have dropped, but it's just one of those things where I'm just like, something new is literally coming out by the seconds. And sometimes we have to, although we want to be like the first to put out a video, but sometimes we need to process things and try to understand what is going on. Like, this is wild. But yeah, um, of course I'm going to give you guys updated. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Oh, <laughs> oh,